Are you thinking about to maximize export opportunities in Africa under the AFCFTA? Are you looking for where to get a detailed export market information for almost all African countries? Are you looking for the item of import in different African countries and the value of import done by different countries? Then visit the African Trade Intelligence Platform via the globaltradetutor.com. You can have access to all this information every month for just $20 only. For more information, call this number or send any email to the email address below. Are you a professional or a businessman? Do you desire to earn dollars, euros, or pounds? Have you chosen to take from your business to the world? Does it look like a daunting tax? You deserve to know what you need to do to get ready to go global. Do you know that there is a science behind making your product or service to go global in a successful and sustainable manner? To learn more about it, get a copy of the book titled Pivot to Go Global. It's scientifically proven, tested, and trusted templates for building a successful and sustainable export business. To pre order at 50% discount, call 080 912 444 Are you a professional or a businessman? Do you desire to earn dollars, euros, or pounds? Have you chosen to take from your business to the world? Does it look like a daunting tax? You deserve to know what you need to do to get ready to go global. Do you know that there is a science behind making your product or service to go global in a successful and sustainable manner? To learn more about it, get a copy of the book titled Pivot to Go Global. It's scientifically proven, tested, and trusted templates for building a successful and sustainable export business. To pre order a 50% discount, call 080 912 444 Are you an account officer, relationship manager, or marketing in a bank? Are you struggling to meet your income and deposit targets? Are you on the verge of meeting your job with no performance? Do you desire a change with better in your career? Then register for the Certified Global Trade Management Profession from the American Institute of Extended Studies to acquire skills needed to solve import export trade customers problem and consequently attract the deposit and income of the transaction to your bank. Registration is currently ongoing. Call this number to register today. Are you a professional or a businessman? Do you desire to earn dollars, euros, or pounds? If you still can take your business to the world, does it look like a daunting tax? Mm -hmm. You deserve to know what you need to do to get ready to go global. Do you know that there is a science behind making your product or service to go global in a successful and sustainable manner? To learn more about it, get a copy of the book titled and to go global. It's scientifically proven, tested, and trusted templates for building a successful and sustainable export business. To order, call 080 912 Are you a retiree? Are you an employee looking forward to retirement? Are you an agro processor? a farmer and a manufacturer of different items in Nigeria? Do you desire to earn foreign exchange in euro, dollars, and pounds? Are you interested in expanding your market beyond the shore of Nigeria? Are you looking for how to start doing export business? Do you have an order and looking for how to go about exporting your product abroad? Then I have great news for you. Greeting Index Trade Academy in conjunction with American Institute of Extended Studies brings to you from export novice to export legend. This is an export mentoring program that helps you step by step 
until you achieve your goal of doing a successful and sustainable export business. New enrollment is currently ongoing. The program costs $1,250 and there are flexible payment plans to fit your budget. Enroll today. Are you thinking about to maximize export opportunities in Africa under the AFCFTA? Are you looking for where to get a detailed export market information for almost all African countries? Are you looking for the item of import in different African countries and the value of import done by different countries? Then visit the African Trade Intelligence Platform via the globaltradetutor.com. You can have access to all this information every month for just $20 only. For more information, call this number or send an email to the email address below. All right, good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining. We'll continue from where we left off last week. So this week we are going to the River State. If you are here to get the book Beauty Go Global, you will do, do, do well to get one. It basically show you why as for business to are what you need to do to avoid the pitfall. If you're also looking for the previous edition of this program, knowing fully where we have done. We started from Abia, Adamawa, Kwaibom, Anambra, Bauchi, Bayel, Sabine, Bono, Cross River, Delta, Ebony, Edo, Ekiti, Enugun, Gombe, Imo, Gigawa, Kaduna, Kano, Katsina, Kebi, Ko, Kogi, Kwara, Lagos, Nadarawa, Naija, Ogundo, Oshun, or your play too. We we're on the plateau last week. And this week, we are going down to River State. If you want to have access to the previous edition, you can visit the YouTube channel, Voice of African Trade. Subscribe, like, share, drop a notification, drop your comment, rather, and click on notification to know when we load or upload a new video. You can also get the link to this program on our Telegram channel, Voice of African Trade. So if you visit Voice of Africa, sorry, African Business Platform, rather. If you visit this platform every week, you will get information about the next program we are having. The next program we're having. We'll go on a short break when we come back. Then we start this session for today. Are you thinking about to maximize export opportunities in Africa under the AFCFTA? Are you looking for where to get a detailed export market information for almost all African countries? Are you looking for the item of import in different African countries and the value of import done by different countries? Then visit the African Trade Intelligence Platform via the globaltradetutor.com. You can have access to all this information every month for just $20 only. For more information, call this number or send an email to the email address below. So as usual, every week we have a preamble, just introductory to what we are trying to do. Then peculiarity of river state, then profile of debt and income of, of river state, then the potential opportunity for export, the purchaser for the product that can be exported from river state, and the value of the export market. Of course, the proposal that we have to Governor Wiki and the incoming governor <laughs> of river state, and then how can River State profit directly from this export of product in its state? 
on ripe cranberry. Through exports, river states can avoid over depending on federal allocation. Through export, the state can boost the GDP, create opportunity for SME to grow, reduce dependence on domestic market, and export proceed and grow revenue for the state. Farming and rural life can become more lucrative because of export. Gain global recognition because our, our market share. It can make the state become home of creativity and innovation. The traditional catalyst for the state, that's what the sports keep it doing. Job creation for youth in the state. Can be said to know the value of what the state have as competitive advantage. It can be said to leave for other state to follow. Export has what it takes to make this state less dependent on federal government. You can have the state to have numerous incentives, opportunities to maximize the indigenous of the state of this abroad. Commercial education in the state is possible through export, and I'll be talking about that later on. You can have the state to keep the league of states, depending on wasting assets like oil. We have to revive the economy of the state, slow down rural and urban migration. That's an opportunity for exporters in the state. Realization of the added capacity of the companies in the state. Viability of the state had boosted, well created for citizens of the state. Can the state to extract the product or potential that can be found in the state for export and yearn for more improvement of competition and zeroing on the area of strength of the state. So, what do you see in River State? People can choose to see unemployment in River State. And we'll look at the data today, the status of unemployment in River State, the fact that about 3.9 of the 5.3 million are in labor force, even though some of them are not gainfully employed. So that's the reality. But is that what you focus on? The fact that there's poverty in River State or there's frustration in the state? It'd be good to focus on the opportunity on farming and opportunities on mining and opportunities on the population of the state. We'll go on a short break when we come back, then we'll be discussing the profile, both the debt and income of the state. Are you thinking about to maximize export opportunities in Africa under the AFCFTA? Are you looking for where to get a detailed export market information for almost all African countries? Are you looking for the item of import in different African countries and the value of import done by different countries? Then visit the African Trade Intelligence Platform via the globaltradetutor.com. You can have access to all this information every month for just $20 only. For more information, Call this number or send any email to the email address below. All right. So let's look at the peculiarity of this state first before we look at the profile. River State was created out of the former Eastern region in 1967 by General Yakubu Gowon. Bayeza was cut of the state. SI's creation in 1996. Its capital, the biggest city is Prakot, located in south south of Nigeria, cover 11,077 square kilometers. The inland part of River State consists of tropical rainforest, and that's the advantage of this state. Beyond the oil it has, towards the coast. The typical river, river environment, featured many mangrove swamps. River State was part of the Oil River Protectorate from 1985 to 1893, when it became part of the Niger Coast Protectorate. In 1900, the region was merged with the Charter Territory of Royal Niger Company. 
to form the colony of the southern Nigeria. Parakot is, is its capital city and regarded as the center of Nigerian oil and gas industry. I remember one of the former presidents said they made the money in Parakot, they share it in Abuja and spend it in Lagos. <laughs> River State is bounded on the south of the Atlantic Ocean to the north by Imo, Abia, and Anambra State, to the east by Aqua Ibon, and to the west by Bayelsa and Delta State. It's nicknamed River State, treasure base of the nation, and it's on the Nigeria coastline and has a number of seaports. Proud to the discovery of oil in River State, agriculture was the mainstay of the economy. 39% of the state's total land mass is suitable for crop cultivation. River State has a lucrative fishing industry. Opportunity for investment is available in energy, tourism, healthcare, land manufacturing, and agri business. To cover 10,575 kilometer, kilometer square or square kilometer, it has 23 local governments. Population is about 7.8 million people. It's quite a heavy population for politicians. Vegetation, tropical rainforest and monsoon. Main crop, cassava, rubber, oil palm, ro coconut, raffia palm, rice, yam, maize, melon, and vegetable. Mineral resources, crude oil, silica, guns, glass sand, and clay. What is the competitive advantage of this state? Large deposit of crude, second largest seaport in Nigeria, third largest oil producing state, center for Nigeria oil and gas industry, tourism and wildlife, biggest oil refinery in Nigeria, 34,000 barrels per day. Opportunity exists in oil and gas manufacturing, cassava, crude oil, rice, education, energy, healthcare, transportation, and rubber. This state was nicknamed, was named Port Arcot by Sir Fred Lugard in honor of Lewis Vernon, Vernon Port Arcot, sorry, Vernon Harcourt, then the Secretary of State for the colony. And that's where the name for that court comes from because of the post order that, that is there. Working population is about 5.3 as of 2020, Q3 labor force statistics. Those not in labor force, 1.4 million. Unemployment rate, 41.59%. And underemployment is 17.63%. Would this be the reason why the governor is hiring 10,000 special advisor? <laughs> All right. Let's go on a short break. When we come back, we move on to, to the profile of income. Are you thinking about to maximize export opportunities in Africa under the AFCFTA? Are you looking for where to get a detailed export market information for almost all African countries? Are you looking for the item of import in different African countries and the value of imports done by different countries? Then visit the African Trade Intelligence Platform via the globaltradetutor.com. You can have access to all this information every month for just $20 only. For more information, Call this number or send any email to the email address below. All right. Are you thinking? Profile. Let's look at the income and idea of this thing. As of 2020, the idea was 117. Who is very good? A number of uh, oil companies. 
have their offices there. So they have a lot of idea coming up from these oil companies and oil servicing firms. The federal allocation is about 149 same year. So to a large extent, this state is able to match a reasonable closeness between FAC and IGR. And the state is also fighting to collect the VAT himself. <laughs> and already in court. Now, this state has a debt profile of about 303 billion naira when you combine the domestic debt with the foreign debt. Look at the income structure. 43% is IGR, 56% is FAC. Since the river state is among the few states that is very close in terms of revenue and what you're getting from federal government. Uh, you will notice also the space state is spending so much on capital expenditure. I mean, this is amazing. I mean, for if you're following River State, you'll have seen a lot of commissioning of first flyover, second flyover, third flyover, third flyover, sixth flyover, <laughs> so number 12 flyover. <laughs> So they said that the governor is called Mr. Project, but he must be commended, actually, because, I mean, there are other governors in that state before him, and I'm not sure any of them are performing as much as he has done. The fact that he's spending more money on capital expenditure is very important for me. Now, look at this. River State is also one of the few states that the operating expense is under IGR. I mean, kudos to Wiki, whichever way think he might have his issues though, but kudos. River State can survive and pay salary and take care of all its expenses without Abuja. Among the few states in Nigeria that is already independent of Abuja, which is what all states must attain. But the plea in this session is to get the state to begin to do beyond oil, to generate more money from other opportunity for export available in this state. Let's see what budget have to say about River State. According to budget report of Nigerian state, once again, the treasure base of the nation retained its position at the top of the 2021 state physical policy in the, uh, performance index. Despite short from COVID-19 pandemic, so its revenue, year on year, is IGR saw a decline of 16% from 140 to 117. So even that 117 is a decline. Nevertheless, the state IGR was still the second largest in Nigeria, accounting for 9.65% 9, 9 of total 1.21 trillion IGR of the 36 states in Nigeria. It was surpassed only by Lagos, who had 418 billion in Nigeria. The state need, we need to work hard in further boosting Nigeria, especially as Edwin from COVID-19 pandemic significantly affects federally distributed revenue, causing the state gross fat allocated to decline by 11.46%. From 1.69 in, in 2019 to 149 in 2020, although crude oil prices are recovering, the global push for energy transmission from fossil fuel like crude oil to clean energy means the days of relatively easy oil revenue are numbered. River state capital expenditure declined from 24% to one billion in 2019 to one state 2020 because of COVID. However, for the second year in a row, the state still emerged as one of the five states in Nigeria that prioritize capital infrastructure. Lagos, I think Ebony, and I think uh, Kaduna, and of course River State. 
and they prioritize capital expenditure on infrastructure over operating expenses. Furthermore, of the state's 168 capital expenditure, economic sector received the highest priority with 85 billion, followed by special head, which received 31, the social sector, administrative sector, and law and justice received 23, 20, and 7.21, respectively. The state also had third largest per capita spending on, cap on uh, infrastructure, highest third per capita spending on capital expenditure, 20,000 exceeding a boy. And even Lagos, with per capita spending of 23, so the only exceeded by a boy in Lagos, with a boy in 23, a boy is doing a lot in capital expenditure also. Even though they don't have as much money, but they're doing a lot. And of course, Lagos 21. And I think because the governor of Ebony is an engineer, he's a registered engineer, and he said he can't joke with infrastructure and he wants to ensure his state have a lot of infrastructure. Preliminary evaluation indicate that Minister of Education and Minister of Air received 2.8 billion and 1.5 billion, respectively, for capital expenditure. Why River State Government House received 27.7 billion for capital expenditure through security vote, envelope in addition to another 16.1 received through the main government house capital expenditure envelope. Furthermore, the social sector received only 20.46 billion, a significant decline of 63.07% from 64 billion spent in 2019. Citizen society are encouraged to ensure that expenditure received by different state government agencies that reported in the state audit report are translating to value for the people and tangible projects on ground. But you can't take it away from Wiki. As far as infrastructure is concerned, it's doing well. The only thing, area of improvement is what we're talking about today is to increase this revenue by seeing how to focus a lot on exports. We'll go on a short break. When we come back, we'll be looking at the potential opportunity for export in River State. Are you thinking about to maximize export opportunities in Africa under the AFCFTA? Are you looking for where to get a detailed export market information for almost all African countries? Are you looking for the item of import in different African countries and the value of import done by different countries? Then visit the African Trade Intelligence Platform via the globaltradetutor.com. You can have access to all this information every month for just $20 only. For more information, call this number or send any email to the email address below. All right. We are on to the potential. What are the potential opportunities for export in River State? What are the potential opportunities for export in River State? Prior to discovery of oil in the commercial city, in commercial country, rather. In 1951, Agri was the primary occupation of the people of River State. Around 19th century, when the Industrial Revolution reached its peak in England, the area was then referred to as Oil River Protectorate. And this was due to abundant palm oil and canal, which basically constituted the main revenue source of the country. In a sample survey carried out by Federal Minister of Agri and Natural Resources, about 40% of the rural inhabitants were committed to farming. In 1983, Hiva State is one of the leading states in production of yam, cassava, cocoa yam, maize rice beans. About 39%, that's 76,000 hectares, of land in the state, particularly in the upland area, 
is suitable for cultivation. Of course, a number of the land also have been polluted. That's why particularly this area were mentioned because it has not been polluted like the other area. Major cash crop again include oil palm, rubber, cocoa, coconut, raffia, palm, jute. Other crop grown for food include vegetable, melon, pineapple, mango, pepper, banana, and plantain. The fishing industry is an important sector in River State. Besides being lucrative, fishing is also a favorite pastime activity. There are approximately 270 species of fish existing with many artisanal fishermen in the riverine areas. The state provides valuable seafood, such as crab, oyster, shrimp, and sea snail, and others, among others, rather. Vertebrate, light bird, mammal, and reptiles are also found in the region. Fishing and farming are the principal occupation of the region. Plantain, banana, cassava, oil palm, coconut, rubber trees, raffia, citrus are grown. Large deposits of crude oil and natural gas are found in river, delta, and major state mineral. Major oil terminal exists offshore from brass and bony. Petroleum refinery have been established at Paracourt and near Alessa Element. But I call the state capital and one of the nation's largest port is on the southern terminus of the eastern branch of Nigeria Railway mainline. Remember, cassava, rubber, oil palm, coconut, raffia, palm, rice, yam maize are main crop of this state. Who are the purchaser of this product and what volume do they buy? Let's start the purchasers. For corn produced in the state, the market size is 36.3 billion. From Japan to South Korea, to Vietnam to Iran, to China, Chinese Taipei, to China, to Malaysia, to Mexico, to Canada, Spain, Germany, Netherlands, even in Africa, Egypt, Morocco, Algeria, Colombia, Peru, in South America. In, Af in Africa, 3.73 billion demand. For corn alone, from Egypt, Algeria, Morocco, Tunisia, South Africa, and the like. Then cassava, a variant of cassava, 2.1 billion. From China to Vietnam, to Netherlands, to Germany, to France, to UK, to Canada, to US. And even in Africa, Rwanda is the largest Import of this product, $19 million. Coconut, fresh and dry, $1.21 billion. China, Malaysia, Thailand, India, Singapore, Netherlands, UK, US, Canada, Australia, Brazil, Germany, France, a major buyer, and in Africa, $42 million from Egypt, South Africa, Algeria, Morocco, Senegal, and Sudan. How about rice? The market size for rice is $24.7 billion. $24.7 billion. Imagine Benin Republic buying 3% of rice produced in the world. A lot of this rice coming to Nigeria. Benin is the largest importer of rice. Out of the 24 billion, Africa alone is taking on about 6 billion. And guess what? 12% of that is imported by a country that is lower than Lagos in population. Your guess is as good as mine. Those people that are coming into Nigeria, those people that are coming into Nigeria. <laughs> So in Africa, Benin Republic, Senegal, Cameroon, Cote d'Ivoire, South Africa, Ghana, Egypt, Togo, Angola, Guinea, Mozambique, Somalia, Madagascar, major importer of rice in Africa. 
These are market for River State. How about palm oil? How about palm oil? Immediately. Look at palm oil. Look at the opportunity for palm oil. Can you see palm oil? 29.3 billion dollars. 29.3 billion dollars. Palm oil alone. 29.3 billion dollars. And this state have a massive land for this. So these are low hanging fruit for River State to make them extra money and increase development in the state. From India to Pakistan, to China, to Netherlands, to Spain, to Italy, to United States. These are major importers of palm oil. I heard that uh, Malaysia is one of the major exporters of palm oil. Pick their seedling from Edo State. <laughs> But today they are a major exporter. But today they are a major exporter. But today they are a major exporter. Look at even in Africa. You know, $4.28 billion. The demand of palm oil in Africa is huge. Even Nigeria import palm oil, even though we can produce it. From Kenya to Egypt to Tanzania, to South Africa, Benin Republic, Ghana, Angola, Togo, Djibouti, Senegal, Somalia, a major importer of this product. And these are products that River State can use to generate additional income. Let's round off with, okay, we, we still have rubber and coconut. So let's do rubber. $30.6 billion. China, Japan, India, Malaysia, South Korea, Vietnam, a major importer of this product. From Germany to Spain, to United States, to Canada, Mexico, Brazil. In Africa, $162 million in demand for rubber. From South Africa to Egypt, Algeria, Eswatini, Kenya, Ethiopia, Tunisia, Morocco. Coconut oil. Remember this state produced coconut. The market size of coconut oil, $4.73 billion. Netherlands, Germany, China, Malaysia, Japan, United States, Canada, Mexico, Brazil, a major importer of this product. In Africa, South Africa, Egypt, Algeria, Tunisia, Morocco, Kenya, Mali, Somalia, a major importer of this product. We'll go on a, third, on, a, on a short break. When we come back, we'll be looking at my proposal to Governor Wiki and the incoming governor of River State. Are you thinking about to maximize export opportunities in Africa under the AFCFTA? Are you looking for where to get a detailed export market information for almost all African countries? Are you looking for the item of import in different African countries and the value of import done by different countries? Then visit the African Trade Intelligence Platform via the globaltradetutor.com. You can have access to all this information every month for just $20 only. For more information, call this number or send any email to the email address below. All right. Now, proposal. What is my proposal to Governor Wiki of River State? on what the state can do, according to where the state is right now, the state is making a lot of money, no doubt. In fact, 
The state recently got some um, money for oil derivation from the federal government. And the state has used it to do a lot of development. But my question is this, how much is the growth and development of SME in the state, particularly as far as agro-processing is concerned? The state can decide to take on palm oil or coconut oil. And my proposal is simple. Looking at the value chain, for example, you have production, harvesting and transport, primary processing, secondary processing, primary processing and storage, secondary processing and packaging. Second person and packaging, marketing and sales, logistics, export and distribution. You have a station in which SME one, only one SME is doing this. Sometimes you might have SME one, two, and three. It doesn't even matter if there are three. As long as the SME, they have an inefficient value chain operator low process capacity and low output, few job creation, low quality and packaging, high cost of production, and non-competitive product in the export market. So my recommendation is that the state consider some of this money can be used to build a central processing center for a product the state want to produce and known for. Maybe on the palm oil or coconut, whatever it is. But the idea is this, to get the SME to keep producing and produce more, to get the SME to produce and produce more. Now, in addition to this, we now have a large colossal organization who will be receiving from um, raw material from the SME and add value to them on behalf of SME 2. So SME 2 buy raw materials from SME 1, take it to large corporate, big organization, who we process and package for them in their brand. SME 2 can focus on marketing, logistics, and export. You know what this will do? Create efficient value chain operator, high process capacity and high output, good quality and packaging, low cost of production, and competitive products in the export market, increase job creation, decrease inequality, and decrease insecurity. Because we'll have empowered the SME to be able to produce more the raw material because there's a huge demand. And encourage SME too to focus on market development. Let someone else worry about production and packaging. In order to support exporter in his, this state to enter export market in Africa, Europe, and America in a secure and sustainable way, the state can do the following: partner with representative at destination to market and secure contract, set up warehouses for pickup by wholesale and retailer at destination. Set up an entity, agent, or distributor at destination. Partner with an independent agent or distributor at destination. Organize and sponsor manufacturers for exhibition in the export market. For exhibition in the export market. Profit. How can the state make profit? directly from export. Let's assume the state used about 50% of the 773,000 hectares of land to cultivate palm cannabis. With a possible yield of 18 metric ton per hectare, we can generate 3.8 million tons of palm oil, of palm cannabis. 
Now, if we have to produce palm oil from this at 19% processing yield, we can have about 727,000 metric ton of palm oil at a sales price of 1,600. We can have 1.18 billion dollars. If you convert to dot naira at 4.15, that's 490 billion. If you remove the cost of farming, cost of processing, cost of export, we can see how a reasonable amount of this money being retained by the state. Now, the idea is this. This state budget in 2022, this state budget in 2022 was $483 billion. And from export of palm oil, the state can generate what it needs for its budget. The state can generate what it needs to fund its budget. How can it make this happen? Look at this. The state must first of all partner with a private firm that can help. That can help. Like Okomuwa, for example, having support the farmers to produce to farm more palm produce and then invest them, partner with the private sector to process them, of course, train the farmer, provide the support, give them a guarantee to buy up whatever they produce. Now, you know what happened afterwards? This product can be exported after processing, documents sent to the buyer, payment made, the farmer can be paid, all other costs can be deducted, even the partner can be paid, and the state will see more than enough to take care of development in the state. The impact of the suggested model for the state goes beyond generation of revenue by export. That's the humongous impact on employment generation and increased economic activity in the state. This, in my opinion, is a more effective and efficient and journey model for diversifying the economy of any state in Nigeria. And this model can be replicated by federal government at the federal level, especially for the exportation of solid mineral. We'll go on a short break. When we come back, we'll round up the session for today. Are you thinking about to maximize export opportunities in Africa under the AFCFTA? Are you looking for where to get a detailed export market information for almost all African countries? Are you looking for the item of import in different African countries and the value of import done by different countries? Then visit the African Trade Intelligence Platform via the globaltradetutor.com. You can have access to all this information every month for just $20 only. For more information, call this number or send any email to the email address below. All right. So we've done reverse state today. Next week, just before Christmas, we are going to be doing Sokoto State. We are going to be going up north again. And after that, we remain in the north Taraba. After that, that will be next year now. Because we are only Sokoto and Saraba for this year. That's 22nd and 29th. Yobe will be later on. And Zamfara will also be later on. That will be in January 2023. And after that, we will start a new series on leveraging technology 
for export market assets. That will last for about 13 weeks within the first quarter of 2023. Build to Go Global is a book you might want to get because it provides the information on why your business failed and what you can do to correct this. You can deliver to anywhere in Nigeria. Voice of African Trade is where you can find this video every week from where we started from uh, Aquaibon down to from Abia, rather, Adamawa, Aquaibon, Anambra, down to Zamfara State. But currently, we have it up to your state and play two and rivers to go live. Maybe next, or maybe tomorrow rather. If you want to get the link to this program every week, you can search for this um, export, African export business platform on Telegram, and you have us to the link every week. Are you a retiree? Are you an employee looking forward to retirement? Are you an agro-processor, a farmer, and a manufacturer of different items in Nigeria? Do you desire to earn foreign exchange in euro, dollars, and pounds? Are you interested in expanding your market beyond the shore of Nigeria? Are you looking for how to start doing export business? Do you have an order and looking for how to go about exporting your product abroad? Then I have great news for you. Pretty Impact Trade Academy, in conjunction with American Institute of Extended Studies, brings to you from export novice to export legend. This is an export mentoring program that helps you step by step until you achieve your goal of doing a successful and sustainable export business. New enrollment is currently ongoing. The program costs $1,250, and there are flexible payment plans to fit your budget. Enroll today. Are you a professional or a businessman? Do you desire to earn in dollars, euros, or pounds? Have you told your tax for your business to the world? Does it look like a daunting tax? You deserve to know what you need to do to get ready to go global. Do you know that there is a science behind making a product or service to go global in a successful and sustainable manner? To learn more about it, get a copy of the book titled Views to go global. A scientifically proven, tested, and trusted template for building a successful and sustainable export business. To so pre-order a 50 cent discount, call 080-912-444-49. Are you an account officer? relationship manager or marketing in a bank? Are you struggling to meet your income and deposit targets? Are you on the verge of losing your job without performance? Do you desire a change for the better in your career? Then register for the Certified Global Trade Management Profession from the American Institute of Extended Studies to acquire skills needed to solve import export trade customers' problems and consequently attract the deposit and involved in transaction to your bank. Registration is currently ongoing. Call this number to register today. Are you, an Are you thinking about to maximize export opportunities in Africa under the AFCFTA? Are you looking for where to get a detailed export market information for almost all African countries? Are you looking for the item of import in different African countries and the value of import done by different countries? Then visit the African Trade Intelligence Platform via the globaltradetutor.com. You can have access to all this information every month for just $20 only. For more information, call this number or send an email to the email address below.
All right. Thank you very much, everyone. See you next week as we go to Sokoto. Have a wonderful weekend and Merry Christmas in advance.